A New York City restaurant was trashed, workers were hurt, and the owner is wondering if it's even safe to reopen, and it was all over someone having to pay extra for sauce. Take a look at the chaos inside Belfry's. This customers got violent after they were asked to pay $1.25 for extra dipping sauce. The co-owner of this restaurant says his employees were viciously attacked, plus the restaurant was destroyed just as it was trying to get back on its feet following the pandemic. 20 to 30 bottles broken, uh, thrown at microwaves, computers broken, the store <laughs> disaster when I went there. Uh, everything is a mess. Police arrested all three women on charges of robbery and criminal mischief. One of them also allegedly punched an officer in the face. A family, including children, find themselves trapped by flames in a second story apartment, and their only way to escape was to jump. Just incredible body cam video from two Madison, Indiana police officers captured the dramatic escape. The officers gathered under a second story window and caught each family member as they escaped the building. No one was hurt. Incredible bravery all around there. Wow. A nun who grew up in Long Beach was among 17 Americans who received the Presidential Medal of Freedom today. Sister Simone Campbell has spent decades advocating on social justice issues like immigration reform and health care. Among those also receiving the nation's highest civilian honor, gymnast Simone Biles, soccer star Megan Rapino, civil rights icon Fred Gray, as well as former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. The president with high praise for all the recipients, including Sister Simone. Compassionate and brave. Humble and strong, today Sister Simone remains a beacon of light. She's the embodiment of a covenant of trust, hope, and progress of our nation. And I call her, I'm happy to call her my friend. Thank you, Sister. Apple Steve Jobs and former Senator John McCain, who was represented by his wife Cindy, were among those honored posthumously. Money from the new infrastructure deal in Washington is coming to Los Angeles. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti joined by U.S. Transportation Secretary Buttigieg at LAX Today to announce $50 million in new funding. We want to thank you for joining us tonight at 11. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon is coming up next. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.